Ruger 1022 video. Check it out. America! This is our Ruger 1022 video for the 10 guns that everybody should own. This Ruger 1022 pretty much sets the bar for a 22 automatic rifle. It's kind of the standard that everybody else goes by. There's some other brands out there, obviously, that make semi-automatic 22s, but I would imagine that very few of them sell anywhere near as many guns as this one. Why is it called a 1022? It is a magazine fed, you can see the opening there on the bottom. It's a magazine fed 22 that takes these little 10 round rotary box magazines. That is what makes it a 1022, is that magazine type. Why should everybody have one of these? Well, everybody needs a 22. Uh, they need it for plinking and, and target practice that's cheap. You can use it on just about any small game in North America, so it's a great caliber to have. It's a good little survival gun. You can carry a lot of ammo uh, if you're a, a bug out prepper type person. They come in every type you can imagine. They come, like this is a stainless and laminate. They come in black plastic with, with a black barrel. They come wood with a black barrel. They come in all sorts of heavy barrel tactical stuff. Just every configuration you can imagine. There's vendor specials with pistol grips and things like that. They're heavily accessorized. Everything that you can imagine you can get for this gun, different stocks and barrels and, and sights and scope mounts and pistol grips and magazines. Everything you could possibly think of, you can get for it. They're great shooting little guns. Uh, they, they're very, very accurate, as you'll see in our shooting videos. And of course, like I said, everybody needs a 22. So that's the reason why you should probably pick up one of these. They're not very expensive. They range from about, uh, you can get them as low as 200 bucks or so used. A new one is probably closer to 300. Then they've got all sorts of other fancier models that you can spend more on. I know some custom guys that spend a ton of money on on upgrading theirs and that sort of thing because they're so feature rich. But uh, so that in a nutshell is why we put it on the list. You should probably pick one up for yourself if you don't have one. It's certainly worth getting. All right, I'm running my 1022. We got some kind of hit or miss ammo on it, but uh, we're gonna try to shoot some of these tomatoes down here. Oh, that was a big explosion. All right, we'll move to the third one. Uh oh, that was cool. Hey, fun. All right, I'm going to put a couple on the target. Quick reload. Got our little 10 round magazine. Wow, this is horrible ammo. All right, 
So I will say this, do not use federal value pack 22 LR ammo. It's not very good stuff. Let's go see how it's shot. All right, tomato carnage everywhere. Big messy tomato mess. Looks pretty cool. All right, so here's the ammo like I was talking about. My hold was very, very consistent. I was holding on here. And even uh, if you should expect to see it much tighter than that, especially with a 22. Those 10 22s are more accurate than that. Um, but uh, so that's how it ended up working out. I was definitely, I had a pretty good rest, so I don't think much of that was me. There's not a lot of trigger jerk in that gun. Uh, and I can usually tell on a rifle if I'm moving it much, and, and I don't think I really was. I could be wrong, but uh, I think that's more ammo than anything. So there you go. That's the 1022. It's a fun shooting little rifle. Not a, not a lot of recoil. Lots and lots of, of parts and things available out there in the real world. Um, it's just a great gun to have. So uh, anyway, if you don't own a 1022, I would suggest going out and picking one up. Uh, pick one up for your kids, whatever. So uh, that's the story. Y'all have a good one. Guys, it's about a week later. I couldn't stand that group I got out of that 1022. Uh, the last video, I was pretty upset with the way that that worked. Uh, I shoot better than that with a 1022, and the gun shoots better than that as well. So what happened during this week is that I had a Nikon rimfire scope come in. This one's a three to nine. They come in four to 12, but I had one come in. They're about 150 to $200 scope retail, like 189 on the four to 14 and like 150 or so on the uh, three to nine. They're great little scopes. They got a BDC reticle. So I swapped that out on the gun and then I put on a, I uh, started using CCI mini mag ammo instead of that cheap ammo. And here's what ended up happening. That is more of what you should expect out of a 1022. That little spot next to the bullseye there, that is about a 10 round group. Don't pay any attention to those three strays. That's when I was kind of messing around some. But once I dialed it in and started actually shooting the target, that is about a 10 round group, uh, maybe nine rounds. I can't remember. I may have had one not in the mag, but one way or another, that's a nine or 10 round group under the size of about a quarter. And that is what you should expect out of those guns. That's the kind of performance I've had in the past. These are great little rifles. So that's the update. I just wanted to let that, uh, let that be known that those guns do a lot better than that. I wasn't satisfied with that group and I wanted you guys to see it as well. So y'all have a good one. We'll catch up with you next time. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.